Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know about the fork uh, sliders that I bought um, from Triumph. These are the OEM Triumph ones. Just wanted to add a little bit more protection to the front end of the bike in case uh, there is uh, some sliding or some spillage. You know, uh, just trying to protect those Brembo bake, uh, brakes as best as possible. And so I went with Triumph. I was looking at some other ones, um, uh, Evotech. Uh, as well as Pooj, and I just felt these ones would do the job just fine, and I like OEM stuff, so went with the Triumph ones. Uh, here in the U.S., they, they're about, I think they were 66 bucks. I get a discount from my local dealer for buying the bike with them, so it ended up costing me about 60 bucks out the door uh, with tax and everything. So, you know, is it necessary? I don't think so, but, you know, why not? And, you know, 60 bucks is better than, you know, having a repair or replace, you know, five, six hundred dollar Brembo calipers. Uh, so that's why I did it. Just want to show you a video of how easy it is to install these. You'll just need an eight millimeter uh, Allen wrench. And again, if you're if you're anal about a lot of the uh, the torque specs, uh, you could also use a torque wrench uh, and torque them down to about nine Newton meters. Uh, personally, I just, you know, hand tighten them, uh, use a wrench, tighten it up, make sure it doesn't move. You know, we're good to go. Uh, these aren't uh, anything uh, that would uh, change the dynamic or the rideability of, of the bike anyways. So with that, um, here it is. I'll unbox it. We'll take a look at it. Taking them out of the box is probably going to be the, the longest portion of this. Looks like, all right, here we go. So here's what it looks like. Uh, there's a fixed end on this side and on that side. You, you'll unscrew this and then just slide it in through the forks, um, through the spindle down there. And that's really it. Um, supposed to go in smoothly. Uh, we'll see if there's any issues. Oh, and they are to be installed from the right-hand side. So this side, if you'll notice, right here, the thicker side, uh, instead of the thinner, smaller side, goes in from the right side of the motorcycle. So it goes in from the hexagon side of, this, uh, of the fork spindle. So you'll see, um, once I put it on, which direction it goes in. So we want to keep this one uh, closed, and then this one will unscrew. All right, we'll unscrew this side, and then uh, we'll get to installing them. That's a lot of screwing. There we go. All right, so we'll pull these All out. Right. So I got the proper Allen bit on both sides. The goal is to make sure that the end cap on this side doesn't rotate when you try and screw in the other opposite side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in like, just like that. Make sure it goes in. Perfect. We'll take this. these for now just like so I could hand tighten it and screw it in once I get it going all right so just want to make sure that these are married up I get a little OCD when it comes to certain things pointing in a certain direction pretty on. Now I'm going to take this side and I'm just going to screw it in and tighten it up. I'm just going to do it by hand. Again, I don't need a torque wrench. I don't think it's necessary. All right. 
and voila. Tight end, they look good. I'm gonna bring a closer picture into how they look. So that's what they look like from the front. Up close. And there you have it. Took me two minutes to, to do. It took me longer to find the actual Allen bits than it was to put this on. You know, for 60 bucks, I think it's worth it just in case. Um, that's really it.